Hello, Randy here, K7AGE, on a sunny February morning in Northern California. Shirt sleeve weather outside here, just wonderful. And a perfect day to talk about the Aero Antenna. I receive a lot of emails about the Aero Antenna. First of all, it's a commercially built antenna. It's not something I built from plans in a magazine. So um, if you're asking for, for plans, sorry, I don't have any, but take a look in the handbook or other magazine articles and put a two meter and a 450 on the same boom. Just have them at 90 degrees to each other. The Aero Antenna, again, is built by Al N0 IMW November Zero India Mike Whiskey and he has a whole line of various different antennas. I have actually four of, of his antennas. I have the, the satellite antenna and I have two of his dual band J poles and one of his 220 megahertz band J pole. I don't have any commercial interest with Al or or anything like that. So I'm just I'm just a user that's letting the, the public here know about his, his products. So anyway, you can go off to his website and I'll have them all posted here on the screen as well as over on the notes. Let's talk about links for a second. Over on the right here, if you're on the YouTube page, you'll see a description of the show and I'll have many of the web links that we're talking about as well as being shown across the bottom here. I know my videos get linked to and posted on many other websites and blogs all around the world. That is great, but I think a lot of times the show notes and the links are not carried over. So if you're watching from one of those uh, linked sites, go back to the YouTube site and you'll be able to see a lot of these web links because many people ask me for those. One of the questions I get quite often has to do with the tripod. And two questions are always seem to relate. One is how does the antenna attach to the tripod? Well, all tripods have a quarter 20 screw. And the boom, which we'll see in a minute, is tapped for the tripod screw. The next question I get an awful lot is how did I do the tilting of the antenna? A lot of people think that's something with the boom or something special I built. No, that's just in the tripod. So if you're looking at it from the behind the camera plate tilts so that's the antenna in one position then I tilt it up for the other position it's that simple many of the newer tripods come with a camera mounting plate so here's a little tripod I have and these are very common there's a little latchy release here and a little plate comes out so what you do with this is that this is attached to the bottom of the camera and allows you to put it on the tripod very, uh, very quickly. Again, this would probably also attach to the boom, although this screw is pretty short, so I couldn't get the bracket to pass through it. Another very common question I receive is, where can I buy the antenna? You can buy it from, from Arrow Antenna's website direct. I've also just checked this morning and HRO, Ham Radio Outlet, and Amateur Electronic Supply, AES, both sell the antennas here. I have a questions, I receive questions once in a while about how to buy the antenna internationally. The video is seen all around the world. So on Al's website, he does mention that International Antenna Warehouse, and he has a link to that, will handle international shipping and I would imagine HRO and AES can also provide that. Okay, the Aero Antenna, the satellite version, comes in a couple different options, let's say. One is that is the split boom. Either the boom is one entire length or is split in half and two pieces have, are uh, taken and uh, slid, uh, slid together. That's probably what you want for portable operation, as it fits in the bag you'll see in a second here. Also, since it's a dual band antenna, each beam, the 450 or the 440 and the 144 antenna, each have their own coax connection. Now, if you're working the satellite with an HT, you have a single connection output. So one of the options is a duplexer, 
little printed circuit board that shoves up in the end of the boom and it has a coax that go to your radio so you can transmit and receive on two bands then the duplexer splits the frequency out with then two cables that go up to the antenna. So you probably want the split, split boom version as well as the duplexer. And just a note on the duplexer, it's only rated for 10 watts. So don't use your 40 or 50 watt mobile radio and transmit through the duplexer. You'll probably burn out the parts and you may damage your radio. And then another option is probably I want to get is this carrying bag. This makes it really nice to disassemble the antenna and carry all the pieces in one place. Um, it wraps together with Velcro here. So you open up the Velcro and it opens up and there's pockets for all the elements and the boom fittings, including my bracket that fits inside. I'll show you how all this goes together. Just take the tripod, open up all the legs, Let's take out the uh, boom here. So here's the part of the boom with the duplexer and a handle and it has a coax that goes to the radio as well as coaxes to the antennas. This is the split boom, it's been cut. So these just slide together and one of the elements will pass through. Get out my bracket here and see if I can get all this together. I think this will be easier. I have to push up on the rubber handle here. up through there. This is a little unwieldy here to get everything to line up. Yeah, so I should have moved the should have drilled the hole on the bracket a little bit towards the end here a little bit. There it goes. Tighten this up. There we go. The boom is on tripod with the mounting bracket. So, might as well start with the two meter elements. Take them out of the bag here. And what I've done is labeled these so they're in a the pair. So, So this is the driven element, and on the boom there's one group of holes for the 2 meter and another group of holes for the 450. So this just passes through here, repeat just passes through, here we go, and screw on the element with the antenna connector facing back to the cable. And then I can hook on the BNC here. Just get up that twist. A pair here labeled reflector. So the longer ones go in the back, pass through, screws in. There's mosquitoes out here. Driven element, I mean, um, the director up in the front. Twist a little bit. Okay. Okay, 
we've got the two meter elements all on. Now let's uh, put the 450 or the 440 on. It's probably easiest to start off with the driven element. The coax is here, so I'm going to put the feed side up on the top. Just screw that in. You just have to finger tighten this. This isn't uh, going to be typically permanently mounted. Now the rest of the elements basically go from the longest at the back here to the shortest at the front. So this is the reflector element. Pass that up through there. The rubber handle is covering this hole a little bit. There's the reflector. There's my first director. Next one. And they just go do this right down the boom. And the last one. And there you go. It goes together fairly quick, especially once you label the elements and you've done it a couple times. And again, with the tripod thing here, tilting allows this type of action, which a lot of people asked about. Again, that's a function of the tripod here. Nothing that I've done to it. So, hope that helps explain the Aero Antenna. Again, this is a commercial product. I don't have plans for this. If you want to build something like this, you can look in the handbooks. Build a three element two meter beam on one plane in the boom and the other plane in the boom. Build a multi element 450 beam. This is a three on two and seven on four, 450. And the key is the duplexer, so you can have a single cable going into your radio. If you use two radios, you wouldn't need the duplexer. You'd have to run two coaxes from the antenna back. 73. Hope to see you on uh, the satellite. K7AGE Randy. Thanks a lot. Something to... Um, So, again, this opens up, and these flaps open up and bang, crash, there goes pieces out, basically, and the last one. You know, I got them all. Okay, now let's put the... 450 parts on. I have my coax here, it's in line, so I'm going to put the driven element there. The antenna gets its name from